this is my dad uh, my legend appo idana ende achan achane appo cheriya idinathu varuna cheriya oru parivadigal ennu parayunnathu achan ivide oru kalari undu uh, so he um, he's been doing um, teaching kalari for a long time by the time like when i was little he uh, he has this kalari here so uh, growing up i was taught by him um and i haven't been done kalari in a long time so this is now this is all the students that he has so today i'm going to explain a little bit about what he teach so if you ask me if you can call this uh, martial arts and and related that to kalari um what i can tell you so uh, yeah uh kalari i would say there is a lot of difference um than the regular kalari that you see so this martial arts has a, a, a correlation with meditation yoga and uh kadina yoga so this this martial art is taught in kadina yoga and the main well, in, in uh, what i can that means in the northern style and it's very rare there is not many kalaris that teach this type anymore because there is only the 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 teacher who taught him and he was the only one in kollam and there is so there is a few people around this area who learned this and now there is like three colorists who teaches the uh teaches this style so before entering the kalari we do this uh that is respecting the earth yeah. or earth or kalari so this is in, or, you know this is a kalari that we getting in and doing the martial arts so we practicing that there so we respect that by doing that before we enter and then we go you know get the blessing from the teacher before we go to the to the kalari and in our kala in acha kalari there is like a cha nataraja um that's what he mahesh mahesh in acha's kalari uh, he his main um, he do pujas to shiva uh, and that's the main belief that he carries on by teaching us so we write om namah shivaya before we start practicing that's what i was writing so he learned kalari when he was uh, like a first, teenager yeah first time first time in vadagara gobalan gurukul gobalan gurukul and then he came back here and he were able to meet uh, kumaran ashan kr kumaran ashan uh, he kotragat kumaran ashan so that's how he learned this style and he was able to connect with him uh, and kadina yoga yeah he learned this is called kadina yoga and uh, the the way the the teaching goes like we, we you guys get to see it and i'm going to explain that while they were doing it.
So if you're doing this like in a public like performance, this is the this is the clothes we wear for performing. That's why we all like I told them like we're gonna be doing the video today, so we all dressed up like that. So this is what making this martial arts, particular martial arts, very unique. So how they start is they start with the Lagu Pranayama. So that's how the meditation part and the yogic part comes in. Then the second, so they clearing their Nadi Sutra by doing the Lagu Pranayama and then they do Pranayama and then they do Kumbhaga. Kumbhaga Pranayama. Kumbhaga Pranayama. So those things, uh, the belief is like the, those warm your system up and clear it before you practice the martial arts. And what, when they perform this martial art, this martial arts, every every step that you learn, the first step is called four and then six and eight. It, this is to build up that the capacity of you to build up that kumbaga inside you. And that's that's what making it very special. <laughs> Layan <laughs> <laughs> So uh, why they do that is for the Lagu Pranayama, they're cleaning up the nervous system. Um, um, lungs, lungs uh, purifying the lungs and then Pranayama is like, what he explained is like it's opening the door for the body to practice the martial arts. It's cleaning up the system um, because they're practicing the, the uh, once we finish all this the next step is we doing uh, the meditation in movement because usually you practice meditation Kumbha. like in Kumbha sitting. Kumbha. Kumbha. So in Kumbhaga they start moving they add movement to Kumbhaga and that's how they practice this martial arts. So um, what's the reason for doing the Lagu Pranayama, Pranayama and Kumbhaga? Uh, before we do the martial arts. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 mm. Yeah, uh, so the, the, the longer they learn to do the Kumbhaga, that much life extensions yes. they get. Long. Long live. Long living. What is that called? Long. What's the English word? Long, Long life. Long living. Long life. Long life. Kadine Yoga. Yanalanda. Kumbhagam, Digumbhagam, Anuminam, Vitra and Digusti. And you power on the land. Kumbhagam, or Yan Shasa, Lil. Usually we hear about like yoga, but this is what makes this specific martial arts very specific and unique because they practice this the, the the yoga and the meditation with movement and it's called kadina yoga so it's uh, the the regular yoga is called sarala yoga and this comes it's become kadina yoga kadina yoga is a hard yoga and that's what kumbaga that makes the kumbaga, kumbaga. yeah kumbaga pra pra 
So we starting with the Lagu Pranayama. Usually we do like three times, like take, um, take the air through the left in mudra and pass through the right and then to the right and the left and we do that three times. So now they finished the Lagu Pranayama, three rounds. Now we're going to be doing uh, pranayama. So for pranayama, there is three stages: puraga, kumbaga, rejaga. So the uh, puraga stage is like you taking the breath in. Usually it's like you you start practicing with like four, you can do like four seconds, then hold the breath in for 16 and you know, let it out in eight. And it's it's various, like once you get really going, like you can do more uh, or you can do less To That's up to your, what you're capable of. That's how we practice that. And once you do that for a lot while, like your capacity gets, your lung capacity gets like a lot better. And the next one is Kumbaga. And this is what making this martial arts like you, you know, specific and unique. And this is how we do most of the movements in this kumbaga. <laughs> So each of this movement, what we practice in this martial arts, it's building your lungs up with each step. So the first one, you have like a limitation of like, it's called four, then you do six, then you do eight. So your lung capacity is improving with in that kumbaga with each movement.
<laughs> so hope you guys enjoy this traditional art form uh, martial arts um, so this is how everybody help us create this video today uh, suraj uh, mohandas hari ullas pinne nammala achan um, he has been teaching martial arts for the last 35 to 40 years um, so if anybody is interested in learning this uh, he has a gallery in mayan marmathirumu in kollam um, kollam jilla uh, and he is the kollam jilla president for kalari pai association um, and that's our gallery so vasudevan poiti he just left because he has to go back to the temple he's a priest at the temple so he had to go back uh, so he is been an inspiration for all of us because he started learning came here like when he was 65 and you guys saw what he is doing uh, and he's he's been doing very good but he has to leave how long has i been doing it um i mean like we practiced together darling a long time ago when we were like in the teenage mm. years, me and him okay. and then he took a break and then he came back like for the last two years now uh hari has been doing different things for years um yoga yoga martial arts um hari endaka cheyirundu hari karate kalari karate ella cheyirundu then yoga he is a yoga teacher too now uh, mohanlal he's been coming for a while now five years yeah and so uh, he's been taking a break because he uh, he has a tear in his um ligament in his knee so he's uh -huh. taking a break so hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video thank you Oh uh -huh.